Their convention in Charlotte, Democrats touted a crippling of Al-Qaeda. Ask Osama bin Laden if he is better off now than he was four years ago. Osama bin Laden is dead and General Motors is alive. Al-Qaeda is on the path to defeat and Osama bin Laden is dead. Just four nights later, September 10th. A video surfaces of Al-Qaeda's emir, its spiritual leader, Ayman al-Zawahiri, calling for jihadists to avenge the death of Libyan terrorist Abu Yahya al-Libi, killed in a drone strike in June. September 11th, expected protests erupt in Cairo after an anti-Islam video is played on Egyptian TV. The U.S. Embassy in Cairo puts out a statement condemning the video. About 5 p.m., the first wire reports cross of an attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi, Libya. That night, the Romney campaign releases a statement condemning the attacks, but criticizing the Obama administration for the Cairo embassy release about the anti-Islam film. Also that night, the White House disavows the original Cairo embassy press release on the film. September 12th. The U.S. ambassador to Libya, our ambassador, has been killed along with three other Americans after a series of attacks. America's commitment to religious tolerance goes back to the very beginning of our nation. But let me be clear, there is no justification for this. None. The focus at the Romney press availability, his overnight press release. Governor Romney, do you think, though, coming so soon, uh, after the events really had unfolded overnight, was appropriate to be weighing in on this as this crisis is unfolding in real time. Uh, the White House also issued a statement saying it tried to distance itself from those comments and said they were not reflecting of their views. I had the exact same reaction. The Rose Garden, minutes later. We will not waver in our commitment to see that justice is done for this terrible act. By this point, according to sources, the U.S. intelligence community already knows the attack was a terrorist act, has listed it as such internally to unlock resources, and believes it was al-Qaeda or al-Qaeda-linked groups in Libya. Sometime within the next three hours, President Obama sits down with 60 Minutes. Have recent events in the Middle East given you any pause about your support for the governments that have come to power following the Arab Spring? I think it was absolutely the right thing for us to do to align ourselves with democracy, universal rights, uh, a notion that uh, uh, people have, uh, have to be able to uh, participate in, in uh, their own governance. Uh, but I, I'm, I was pretty certain and continue to be pretty, pretty certain that uh, there are going to be bumps in the road. That afternoon, the president leaves for a campaign trip and fundraiser in Las Vegas, 6 p.m. Fox News already has intelligence sources saying al-Qaeda-linked groups could be behind the attack. U.S. officials are investigating whether a pro-al-Qaeda group known as the imprisoned Abdul Rahman Brigades was involved. There was a coordinated military-style commando-type raid that had both direct fire and indirect fire military movements involved in it. it this was a well-planned, well-targeted event, no doubt about it. And we weren't alone. David Barton reports it may have been a terrorist strike timed to 9-11. This was executed by a group that is either associated with or sympathizes with al-Qaeda. Roughly 9 p.m., President Obama mentions the attack but spends most of the time campaigning in Nevada. Now, uh, because Nevada is a battleground state, uh, you are aware that we've got an election going on. From Nevada, the president goes on to campaign in Colorado. September 13th at the State Department, questions about security. Uh, we did evaluate uh, the threat stream and we determined that the security uh, at Benghazi was appropriate for what we knew. And another statement about the anti-Islam video. There is no justification, none at all, for responding to this video with violence. September 14th, the President and Secretary of State greet the bodies of the fallen at Joint Base Andrews. We will stand fast against the violence on our diplomatic missions. Later that day on Capitol Hill. And it's pretty obvious that there's very likely that there was a terrorist organization that uh, affiliated with Al-Qaeda. We were saying now Benghazi that in, in this attack. September 16th, 
U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Susan Rice goes on five Sunday talk shows calling the attack spontaneous. In fact, this was not a pre-planned, premeditated uh, attack. September 17th. Simply on the basis of what Ambassador Rice has publicly disclosed, does the United States government regard what happened in Benghazi as a, an act of terror? Again, I'm not going to put labels on this until we have a complete investigation, okay? You don't, so you don't regard it as an act of terrorism? I don't think we know enough. I don't think we know enough. September 18th on the David Letterman Show. Is this an act of war? Are we at war now? No. What, what uh, happens here? Well, here's what happened. You, you had a video that was released by uh, somebody who lives here, uh, sort of a shadowy character, who, who uh, is an extremely offensive video directed at the uh, at Muhammad and Islam. Making fun of the Prophet making, Muhammad. Making fun of the Prophet Muhammad. And so uh, this caused great offense uh, in much of the Muslim world. Uh, but what also happened was extremists and terrorists uh, used this as an excuse uh, to uh, attack uh, a variety of our embassies, including the one, uh, the consulate in, in Libya. And September 19th on Capitol Hill. The head of the National Counterterrorism Center, the only administration official to testify so far. Question: I would say yes. Uh, they were killed in the course of a terrorist attack on our embassy. September 20th. It is, uh, I think, self-evident that what happened in Benghazi was a terrorist attack. We have reports that the White House said today that the attacks in Libya were, were a terrorist attack. Well, we're still doing an investigation, uh, and there are going to be different circumstances in different countries. And so I don't want to speak to something until we have all the information. September 21st. What happened in Benghazi was a terrorist attack. September 24th. Then I heard uh, Hillary Clinton say that it was an act of terrorism. Is it? What do you say? Well, we're still doing an investigation. Uh, there's no doubt that the kind of weapons that were used, uh, the, the ongoing assault, uh, that it wasn't just a mob action. September 25th at the United Nations. There are no words that excuse the killing of innocents. There's no video that justifies an attack on an embassy. Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb and other groups have launched attacks and kidnappings from northern Mali into neighboring countries. Now with a larger safe haven and increased freedom to maneuver, terrorists are seeking to extend their reach and their networks in multiple directions. And September 27th. It was a terrorist attack. The reason uh, I think it pretty clearly it was a terrorist attack is because a group of terrorists uh, obviously uh, conducted that attack on the consulate uh, and uh, against our individuals. That last soundbite from Secretary Clinton about Al-Qaeda and Islamic Maghreb matches a quote in that report I told you about at the beginning of the piece, almost verbatim. From everything we've been told, the FBI tonight still has not stepped foot inside Benghazi, the site of the attack, and may never get there. We will stay on this story. Join us next week for special.